Good day, everyone. Um, today, I just want to quickly share with you um, what is going on in Lagos State. Uh, what I mean is that the governorships, new governorships, three main candidates uh, that are definitely fighting for the battles of Lagos State. Uh, we know that uh, Sonwolu, which is the state, the current governor of Lagos State, um, has been a lot of doubt about his leadership, about what he's done. And uh, we also have uh, another candidate, which is Ade Diron, uh, which is also part of the race. And we have Wood Vivo, which also took Arsene as part of the race. But the governor elections in Lagos State, uh, we believe that currently is guiding the stumps as the candidates have gone into a high wire campaign in order to swipe the votes in favor of March 18. And these elections was postponed from 11, which is tomorrow, and now they have shifted it to 18. And the outcome of the February 25th presidential elections, which we have, has sent a shiver through the spine. Uh, political heavyweight in the state. Uh, as we said, that uh, the current governor, which is Baba Jide Sawolu, of the All Progressive Congress, um, if you remember, Baba Jide Sawolu was uh, single handedly handled by uh, Bola Hamed Tinobu, and APC have been the main candidates of Lagos State for more than 20 years. And uh, now it's going because of his leadership, what he has done in Lagos, and a lot of issues that uh, people are not really happy about. Uh, it's going to be a battle uh, for Sawolu uh, to fight this time around. And we also have another con uh, campaigning camp, uh, which is at APC, uh, Dr. Olajidi Adediro of uh, People Democratic Party. Is also in the race, but the ones that uh, uh, because we mm. remember in twenty fifth February, um, presidential candidate Labour Party won uh, that presidential seat in Lagos State. Uh, that means it give uh, Mister Abel Road Vivo, uh, which is uh, one of the main candidates uh, that people mm. uh, really want to have in the seat of Lagos State. And it's also mm -hmm. part of the race. And they are considered to be one of the frontline candidates that is currently in the mm -hmm. context. So the election will go on March 18, and there has been a dub, a three horse race, which people call it. And may end up being a two horse race if the alliance was formed within the poll. So that means uh, there was a suggestion that uh, whether uh, other candidates uh, want to form an alliance with Labour Party. And there has also been a candidate has also embarked on a move ahead of boosting their chance by getting endorsement from various ethnic and religious groups. So people have to do what they have to do in order to get this particular seat. However, we have had an allegations that they refuse some of the APC leaders to spread the largest party faithful contributed to the party losses. And we also know that the APC lose during the presidential election. Uh, they were a passive move by the Labour Party and PDP to alliance and dislodge the APC. So we don't know whether that move will uh, surface, but I think we heard from the Labour Party that they are not willing to form any alliance with uh, any other political party, particularly the PDP. But unfortunately, um, the proposed alliance, we knew it failed to take off as two parties could not decide on which one of the candidates should step down for the others. And um, we also have in it the bulk claims uh, of an alliance with Labour Party ahead of the governorship and the House of Assembly elections, uh, which we know that initially scheduled in 11, um, but now being postponed to 18. Uh, the PDB Public Secretary, uh, Hassan, Modi said in a report that the candidate Adiro was planning to step down his force. And the APC moves um, 
Um, Governor Olushun is making a move to get endorsement from religious bodies. Um, it's not only the religious body that Shun Wailu will get endorsement for, they also have to get endorsement for non-religious organizations and any other non-faith individuals in Lagos State. And we saw recently that Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigerians in Lagos State, they have thrown their weight behind the governor for the second time, saying that they have done well in the last four years. So church from Pentecostal, uh, they support APC. And we also had leaders of the fellowship uh, who spoke about the meetings in Ikeja, urge all Christians to vote for Sonwo Ulu. And those present at the emergency meeting were the chairman, uh, secretary, and other PFN leaders. Uh, that also include uh, Apostles uh, Yinayo, uh, Oko Nunu, Pastor Mahmoud, Akin, the George Bishop, Trophilius Joseph. And we also had, and what I just said was that the church requires the Christian governors. Notice that PNF is solely behind Sawolu. So Sawolu is a Christian, as we had. So a lot of the church uh, want their fellowship to vote for uh, Governor Sawolu. Even the church in Lagos State uh, has of hacks Christian governors and governors of the have done very well in the last four years. And if you look at the gubernatorial election, it's not about any political party, but it's all about the candidate. And Mr. Sonwolu uh, has made Christian a very proud and has governed the state without any religious bias. He's one of us and the church is speaking with one voice that Mr. Babajide Sonwolu deserves our support. And Christian Association of Nigeria and even San in Lagos State have also endorsed uh, Sonwolu for a second time in the office. And uh, we also said that they would like to inform the resident of Lagos State that the Christian Association of Nigerians in Lagos State and Christian community in Lagos State, uh, what they're doing is that they're throwing their weight solidly behind the candidacy of uh, Governor Babajide Sonwolu and his deputy, uh, Dr. Obafemi Azat, for the second term in the office. And uh, so, Samuolu himself is going for endorsement for religious leaders, government bodies, and uh, just to get an endorsement. I think he has an endorsement, especially from the Christian Association of Nigerians, the branch in Lagos State. And so far, the endorsement will go in boosting the government's chance chances on Saturday, and they, that will be determined by the outcome of the elections. And uh, moving back to Lagos uh, Labour Party, re-energize the campaign. Uh, we know that uh, Labour Party is one of the front-running political campaigns that's going to give uh, APC, Baba uh, Olu, a a man-to-mount us-for-us race in this. Uh, governorship elections, uh, which is Mr. Road and Devo, uh, which the allegations that it's not Lagosians, uh, it's not from the tribe of Lagosians, but that doesn't matter because uh, he was born in Lagos, his forefather also was born in Lagos, so and uh, and uh, so it's all not all about the individuals where he was born, it's all about what individuals can bring to and better than uh, Lagos Lagosian. And this election campaign, we believe, has energized following the presidential result that saw his presidential candidate, Peter Obi, defeat APC candidate, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, in his home state. Uh, desperate threat and a campaign of uh, calmly thrown at him, the 40 year old governorship, hopefully, a hodge Lagosians, especially the youth commerce and emas and vote out the APC in next Saturday. Uh, Fourteen the ethnic card been thrown at him, Labour candidate and gone got endorsement from some negotiation. Though there has been pressure from various quarters on how to drop his ambitions. Uh, we have the GLC as far finally call it a bent on leading the party to victory. And there was been an allegation 
that he was given an offer of 20 billion uh, to drop his ambitions and labor candidate turned that offer down. So where is that 20 billion naira is coming from? Who gave him that 20 billion? Uh, we don't know whether that's a reliable source. And we also heard that uh, uh, members of the Homo Eke, Eko Wataki uh, concerning the chief Olu Bode Joy, former deputy governor of Lagos State, Senate uh, Kofo Wora Ola uh, Bukno Akerele and Mrs. Oni Kepo or Shodi. I also endorse uh, Road Vivo saying that it is time for to renew and the rebat in Lagos State. So he also has an endorsement for various prominent uh, leaders in Lagos State. And we also have from a group which also consider PDP leader, uh, somebody endorsed Labour Party governor candidate or the Lagosians resident to be wary of voting for APC during these governorship elections. Uh, what George said that uh, George is a prominent member of PDP. Uh, we spoke on behalf of the group, uh, call our own Nigerians to be wary of taking yet another drop step to vote for ruling APC governor in the impending governorship election. And they also said that without any equal vocations, were, and he said that in the wash of APC governors, countries have been uh, striding in widening uncertainties. And there is, uh, uh, there is a certitude everywhere as lawless define the national landscape. We cannot continue with the old way. The system now devolves of stabilizing balances. We must rework it. We must push towards renewal and repart. Now is the time for us to have a change of visions through our electoral overall. We quality our electorate in Lagos State to go out in their numbers on Saturday and to vote against the plundering that have the the values our prosperous state for over two decades as adequate security is assured to everyone out to exercise their civil responsibility. Then if you now go back to PDP, um, they had that as a boast from PDP. Uh, we know that since the advent of the what Republicans in 1999, PDP have remained a formidable force as far as Lagosians politics is concerned. And he has always given the ruling party a run for his money. Unfortunately, the entries of Peter Obi have reduced the party voting strength, especially in the Lagos state. Uh, February 25 presidential poll could have considered it the worst outing in recent time. Um, but, um, his governorship campaign firm finally called Jan Dor. It's not bought down to any party a basement performance in the elections and a campaign recently got a boss in the council of Ize Idobo in Lagos State and does him as their preferred candidate in the forthcoming election and the state house of assembly elections. But the leadership of the Igbo community in the state have pledged their support as an event tag the Igbo community in Lagos State officially endorsed Dr. Abdul Azad Adejiro, the Ogo Bodu of Lagos State. And speaking in the occasion at the Ize Idobo Ikoru North, and David Owosu, who also spoke on behalf of the council at the event in the Oshodi Solo area of Lagos State, affirmed the council's support for Adenero. And what Owosu said alongside the other Ize in attendance, raises Adeniro hands to the sharing crowd of Igbo supporters. So is a Idogu and Igbo community in Lagos State and does Jangdo. So Adeniro said he was not bothered about the outcome of the presidential or national elections, which was described as inconsequential. And Adeniro said by this next week, all of us will be out of that governor that will not let us spread on the road and at the marketplace. The governor there released hoodlums to attacking the citizen without condoning it for one day. Their days and numbers next week, we must put an end to their existing legal state. Please make no mistake, put out the vote. I'm ready to protect it. They have been threatened 
Jandon is ready to deploy security both conventional and unconventional the next Saturday election. Uh, whatever has happened at the central is inconsequential. This is Lagos, and we are taking Lagos back. And what Jan does now, we have a governor that we understand that you are coming to Lagos is too hard to assist prosperity. If anybody say to us that Lagos is a rich state today, it's because of your contributions to Oloba, Aladipo, and trade fair, among other places. At this candidate's large out May, March 18, is expected to see how the outcome of the three horse rate pumps out. So this is what is going on in Lagos State. It's going to be a battle to finish. Uh, we'll see which one of the candidates we match. Uh, we'll see which one of the candidate negotiations we definitely support. Um, uh, definitely, I don't know why it's going to be. I know it's going to be a battle between APC and Labour Party. And uh, we'll see whether Adini Rongi or uh, Road Dido uh, we match. I think a youth will definitely pour out for him. Uh, we'll see whether any negotiations he also want to try APC again. So, but that is left to the hands of the negotiations to decide. Uh, who will be their best candidate. And uh, so I will speak to you later. Take care. Have a great day.